Hey guys, I'm just waiting. Uh, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes, or not even a couple minutes, a minute. I just want um, everyone to come on this call. This is a very important call for me because um, it's a very personal call I want to have. It's got nothing to do with uh, with anything other than some some personal matters I want to discuss with everybody. Uh, certain things that have come to my attention that I had to discover on my own that that kind of has me concerned. You know, has me concerned with respect to uh, uh, everything from from like humanity to logic and common sense, you know? So I'm just gonna wait, um, I'm gonna wait a minute, let people, uh, let people come on here. I'm not sure where this link was uh, shared, so, I don't know how many people were expecting to come on here, but I sincerely hope that whoever is on this call is a genuine quote unquote leader, which is what I've heard this, this name, this word so many times. And leader means explaining to people things, not uh, saying I will and uh, keeping, keeping everybody in the dark. So I hope everybody on this call is an individual that can um, relay messages properly. I'll wait a little bit more. As I can see, it, people are still coming to the to the discussion. Guys, I also know some people have uh, some people have questions. Now, I, obviously, I cannot unmute 120 people. It's, there's no logic behind that. But what I will do is when I'm done my piece, um, I believe there's an option here that you could put your hand up, et cetera, et cetera. And then I will unmute that person accordingly and uh, speak to them so we could have a, a, a justified conversation. It doesn't make sense to um, unmute um, over a hundred people and have a free for all because then no one will be able to speak uh, period. It will just be a, a mayhem. So, so guys, the reason I, I call this meeting is very simple. Okay. It's because, you know, I have been getting a lot of subliminal messages and I mean, I've been in business for a long time. I mean, I I'm, I'm young, I'm younger than a lot of people I can see on this call. Um, but I've, I've been around that long enough that I can pick up messages that are going around and, you know, I, I know what's happened. Um, I'm not happy about what's happened with respect to lack of communication and miscommunication. And, and, but I don't blame, I'm not going to blame anyone on it other than myself. Um, I will not point a finger at a single leader in the UK. I think, uh, I think the, the core leaders that I built this business with in the United Kingdom are, are phenomenal recruiters, some of the best recruiters I've ever seen in my life. Um, but I can't, I, you know, I can't go ahead and, uh, and leave all responsibilities um, on certain individuals because they said they wanted them. You know, and as time has progressed, I, I've realized that age is a major factor when it comes to leadership. And leadership is not just 
bringing people into a company. Okay, that's recruitment. Recruitment is great. But if you can't, you know, le leadership is making sure that every single individual understands what's going on. I'm the CEO of this company and I run multiple companies. And those individuals that have my personal number, as much as I have told people I hate speaking on my phone because it's just not practical, I still speak to them on the phone because I'm obligated and I feel obligated to inform people that are closely connected to me about what is going on in life, how the weather's like, if what's just what's happening in life. That is, um, uh, that is my, my obligation to any business or anything I do in life, all right? What I've come to realize is that, again, and I will fault nobody and I will point no fingers at nobody. I fault myself only for not taking the initiative and saying, no, no, Kaizen has to be the one representing Kaizen in the UK. Not every single person that comes and says, I'm a leader, they should not be representing Kaizen in the UK because I'm not sure what they're telling people. All right. So I take that out. I, I fully take that blame. But it come to my attention that in the month of, I would say, January, February, um, even early March, a tremendous amount of people were signed up into this company, okay, without really understanding this company. Further to that, they were signed up and with zero connection to me, okay? If I have no idea what these individuals seek and these individuals have no idea what they're going to get, you're going to get what just happened. A massive, massive bottleneck. And how did I find all this out? Well, I found all this out very simply because the last uh, five days that I have actively come back in trading and got rid of Harsh completely and I'm making more winning trades in a day than anyone else has because I'm doing my own trades, I still see a ton of people complaining about things that they should have known about two weeks ago, like the Eurocat trades, like the pound USD trades. And this tells me that there's obviously a clear break in what people are telling their downlines or the people they sign up into this company. You know, you can't go and tell someone this is a get rich quick scheme and not let the owner of the company know they want a get rich quick scheme. You can't come and tell the owner of the company that everything is handled, everyone is happy, don't worry about it, don't look back, just do what you're doing, ignore everybody because we're taking control of it. But then when everybody has a question, basically saying to them, shut up, don't ask questions. Because now it looks like Reza saying, shut up, don't ask questions. Reza thinks everyone's happy, everyone thinks Reza just doesn't care when it's quite the opposite way around. So before I get into the semantics of it, had I known who the differentiates a leader from a, from a recruiter, had I known a lot, of this, a lot of different things, okay, I would have been able to address the trades in a completely different manner as I have in the last five days. And when I trade, I don't care what anybody says. I'll call out anybody on the face of this planet. Nobody can do what I can do. The last five days, I've taken money out of the markets like it's a joke. Why? Because I'm using a different strategy because I know no one in this company is a Forex trader. They're just out there to make some quick bucks. And I give them that. But when I'm told no one cares, just don't worry about it. Do whatever you want. Not knowing poor people are putting 50,000 50, pounds in their account and opening up 10 lot positions. That's a major concern. Okay. So there is a major disconnect between how people were brought into this company, what I was told about these people, and what, what was going on, period. And again, it is corp, it is my fault because I should not have put, I should not have relied on anybody. I should have personally done these calls a lot sooner and openly let people speak to me. And slowly as I start opening up a direct message, opening up a Facebook message and glancing through them because I get thousands a day, I see one or two that concern me. I open them up, I read them. And it's like this person just has no idea 
Like you could clearly tell these people are just, someone's lying to them. Someone is blatantly lying to them. And guess whose name is on the line? My name, Reza Mokhtarian's name and Kaizen's name. And then guess what happens? MLMs out there that are garbage, that are in the Forex industry, that, that don't have any, they're, they're literally garbage, 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 will lose your money in a blink of an eye over and over again, but have that proper leadership to at least go back and convey why we lost the money and what we're going to do to rectify it will grow. And the company that truly is the gem that has the best products in the world stays stagnant because the, the, the CEO, the one running the entire damn platform is hidden away from the entire field and the field is hidden away from him. If my field is hidden from me and I'm hidden from my field, how can I help? I can't. If I don't know someone's bleeding, how can I fix it for them? I can't. And I had a talk with my corporate team yesterday and I told them, I said, you know what? All these winning trades I've been putting on nonstop the last week, killing the markets. Why aren't people happy? And we just came through this too late for them. People don't have money anymore to be happy. They don't have money anymore. A lot of people don't have money left to reap the benefits. Because reality is, if a guy lost 50 bucks, he would have made it back in the, in the next two weeks and, and, made, and made money for the rest of his life. The sad thing is, with what I could have done for people on this auto trader, people could truly, truly, truly make millions of dollars, hands-free, not touching anything. But I was kept apart from, the, from these guys. No connection to them because God forbid if I heard the truth about how they're upset and they were kept away from me. And short of me coming to the United Kingdom and literally standing in front of everybody and saying, look, we, don't, we have not really had true leadership from the beginning. And to those leaders that are hearing this, if they're upset at me, don't be upset at me because we haven't had leadership from the beginning. If we did, people would not have lost money in a company that is, is I know, everyone knows is the best company out there. No one is stupid. Our competition knows we're the best company out there. They just keep banking on us messing up. That's all they do. Every company just says, well, that's Kaizen. They mess up every few months because they got a blind CEO that puts his head down like a mule and just doesn't look around his company, doesn't travel to other countries. He's a mule. He just puts his head down and trades. He's got the greatest trading system in the world, but no one understands. He doesn't know what's going on around him. He's going to build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, and then give all these people away to other people. And that's, that's what's happened in Kaizen. Every three months, 5,000 people come in. I have no idea who these people are. 2,000 of them walk out. And then another 5,000 come in. And the sad thing is the products do work, so people continuously sign up. But I don't function like that. I don't run this company because I need money. I don't need money. I've got a mailing list right now, and I'm telling you, God above is my witness. I can send one email blast out and put and charge 97 bucks a month for just my market maker strategy, which I annihilate the markets with it. I annihilate them. I'm doing it in front of your faces. If you've been able to open up the trades the last five days since I, I went back to my old strategies, I take money out like there's no tomorrow. I can get 10,000 people, 97 bucks a month. That's a million US dollars a month. What more do I want out of life? I don't do this for money. I do this so I can genuinely help people. I don't come here and put this time and, and, and speak because I'm, I'm trying to retain a person for 170 bucks a month. I find it sad that that person is now going to possibly go through life and try 50 other opportunities before he effing quits and goes and gets a goddamn job. 
then I got to justify to myself how I make a, over a million dollars a month and I'm 34 years old and these guys can't. You know why? Because nobody was there from the beginning to guide these guys into the program that I created for these guys. And I am, I am blindly led thinking every single one of these guys is ecstatically happy, jumping for joy, about to bring in 300,000 people in Kaizen. So, hey, no one's upset about the Euro cat. They opened up a 0.25 lot size. In fact, I would have thought every single one of you guys would have closed your cat and pound USD over a week ago and already made 10, 15% of your losses back. In two weeks, my undertaking is that you guys are back to even and boom, from there on in, we make money every single day and it's a free for all and we're all happy. Now I find that EuroCAD is still open, Pound USD is still open. People are not getting all these trades I'm putting out because they're over leveraged. And not a single person got to these poor people and said, this is what Reza has conveyed. I do my presidential calls, 700 people come on the call. People still call me. Do you do presidential calls every night? And then a ton of you guys get upset at me. And by God, you have the right to, because it's my responsibility. And it was my responsibility to interfere, and I didn't. And I don't blame this on, on the UK leaders. Believe me, I don't. I have love for them, a lot of love for them. They're good people, good intentions. But it's their first time in Forex as well. They don't know how to market this. They don't know their young Guys, they don't know how to take the pressure of one day good, one day bad. And they don't know how to come to me and say, Reza, our guys are upset. They're afraid to come to me and tell me their guys are upset. So I never know, and the guys never know. And it caused this. Now, I would say about 2,000 people came in in the last two months, which is nothing, which is like a tip of nothing. I mean, that is, that's minute figures compared to what's in UK. Of those 2,000 people, I would say 600 of them at least got wiped out by EuroCAD and pound USD. Of those 600 people, I don't know the name of one of them because I am hidden from them. They're hidden from me. And by the time I we by the time we found out what's going on, and we fixed the auto trader and all the trades are beautiful. It's too late for a lot of people. It's really too late. It's too late. As a as a realist, what am I going to say? If you don't got the money to fund it, now you're not going to make your old money back. Yeah, if you had money, you'd make ten percent of your money back already. In two weeks, you're probably going to be back to break even. Going forward, yeah, you're going to make free money for the rest of your life. How? Well, because Reza figured out this is the kind of clients he has, traded this way that he's doing now. It's working beautifully and it'll continue to work beautifully. But what happens to all those poor guys that came in and were involved in this whole fiasco that got hurt? What happens to them? One negative, I'm just speaking to one person, one negative individual can spoil, three, spoil 11 positive clients. We can't go on the premise that who cares? There's only 600 people that are going to leave. Who cares about these guys? 50,000 will sign up. Just keep doing the auto trader the way it is. Trust me. Everyone will come back and 50,000. They'll go out there and realize all these other companies suck. And they do. But that's not who I am. I'm not going to kick you guys to the curb or kick anybody to the curb. Do you understand? I take accountability for not being there for you guys, for not, for, for, for just closing my eyes and saying, I'm going to let all of United Kingdom just be handled without me, with other individuals involved. I should have personally led those leaders and taught them leadership. I should have flown people personally into Canada and, and taught them leadership. And once I taught them leadership, opened up an office for them in the UK. These are all mistakes I made. I blindly made those mistakes, which is why I take all the responsibility now and all the accountability. 
But what I don't feel particularly good about is the fact that a lot of people are saying, well, you messed up our accounts. And I'll tell you this, I didn't because I had no idea what the situation of your accounts are. Had I known you guys are just in, are, are being basically told, sign up, it's get rich quick. I would have adjusted the whole thing to get rich quick, which is what I've done now. And proof is in the pudding. Since I started that, I take money, I take two, three trades a day, and I win these trades like it's a joke, like it's illegal how I win these trades. No one can do what I can do. But when I'm told, ah, don't worry, man, open up trades, don't worry, no one cares, hey, I just do that. And for a lot of people, it's a little too late. A lot of influential people who I cared about, who were really good and could have taken this company to three, 400,000 people while simultaneously making themselves $500,000 a month now have a salty taste in their mouth and is directed towards Reza. And that's not fair for them because that's opportunity lost for them because they could have made 500,000 a month easily here and they could have made money for the rest of their lives on this auto trader. But there was no system put in place for us to run it together to make this ship succeed. We blindly ran a, 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 a battleship down the sea with half of our cannons closed and the ones that are completely shooting, shooting in the wrong direction. Now, I'm a firm believer for me that every single X amount of months or X amount of years, the man above puts a test in front of me. And I always triumph over it. And I always get over humps. It's just who I am. It's how God made me. So for me, 500, 600 people leave. By the grace of God, 500, 600 people plus will come back. Mistakes allow me to understand my system more. And what just occurred the last month really made my system a thousand times better for me. Because it brought me back into the game the way I should have. And I, I noticed it in my own personal trading. I've been making a ton more money. Okay. But without that happening, this wouldn't have happened. However, the problem is a lot of people got hurt as a result of that. Now, only thing I can do is I can say to those people, as a man, I, I apologize, but I had no idea what situation you were in. And it's sad that you took a loss when you could have made a ton of money with us, a ton of money. And it's not about money to me, you know? I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm going to speak to my staff and every single one of those individuals who lost money on pound USD and EuroCAD, I have no issue giving them, give, just letting them, letting them stay for free, giving them a free month, giving them whatever, letting them get back into the game. But it's sad that I was kept away from these people. And there's a lot of people that have called me and said, bro, you need to speak to the field because the field needs you. They think something different. There's too many rumors go around and leaders just shut these people up and they don't let them get to you. It's politics. And if we continue doing this, all that's going to happen is simple, guys. And I'm telling you like a brother. Naturally, we'll disperse from one another. You guys will keep looking for opportunities until you give up on opportunities. Thank God I've done my life. I've done it for myself. I'm okay. I have a tool in my hand that I can always bring people in. But I don't use that as, as a tool to say I don't care about people. As much as people want to question me, it's not true. I care about you guys. I really do. Otherwise, I wouldn't commit these hours and times to you guys. You got to understand that. But if we don't, if, if we don't take an action, I don't know what it's going to take. But all that's going to happen is certain people will leave and they will be immediately 
finessed into other companies, which are junk. I'll just, I'll be the first one to tell you they're junk. And then these all, these guys will lose even more money and they'll quit Forex completely looking for other opportunities until eventually they give up on MLM. They just want to give up and they're going to get a nine to five. And it's going to be sad because I really had something here for them. And there's going to be a ton of people that are going to stay and they're going to be well suited and well booted. And they're going to make a ton of money with Kaizen and they're going to turn around and say, well, you know, that was a bad month we had. Look at us now. But I want all of us to grow together. You know, I believe we have an amazing product here. I think corporate is just messed up in the fact that we're blind and we're not ex as experienced as some of you guys. We truly are not. I'm not as experienced as you guys are. I'm not as good as you guys when it comes to being in the field and having experience. I've only been in MLM for about a year. And before that, I was an ACN 16 years ago. I don't have your experience. All I know how to do is I'm a damn good trader. Don't look at EuroCAD and pound USD. Those are anomalies. If you really want to know the truth, harshest pound USD was not a bad trade. If it wasn't Donald Trump and Fannie Mae, oh, you better believe that trade would not have happened the way it did. So I blame him for taking trades during the news. But both of those trades were anomalies that should never have happened. And we learned from those because we realize now cross hedge your positions. If anybody was in the CAD Jappy yesterday, we had a small drawdown, hedged it, made money all the way up, made money all the way down, and kept. And we, every trade we're taking now is bang, bang, bang. Because I won't ever allow a drawdown again. You know, I have an ATM machine here. I have a money printing machine for you guys. But if but if I'm blinded to you guys, I can't help you because I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what you want. And then you end up getting hurt. And then I got I to gotta feel that, right? Then I get other companies that are useless garbage companies taking advantage of these little weaknesses in my company. Oh, you know, come to us. I told bullshit. All these other companies are secretly using my auto trader, using my market maker. My market maker group has almost 5,000 5, people in it. All those leaders are using my trades. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Yet my corporate weaknesses have allowed holes in my armor. And the only thing we can do is we, 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 we either fix it together. We either fix it together. We either accept it and say, look, we got a phenomenal company here, but we have a young CEO with a young corporate team that needs us to help him with our experience and our age. He's got a phenomenal product. He's a caring guy, but he's, he's not as experienced in the MLM sector. And the company grew too fast. That's another thing you got to understand. Our company grew way too fast. It happened to Richard Branson, right? Our company grew way too fast. Ridiculous. 500 people a day signing up, 300 people, 200 people, 100 people. The company grew too fast. But I believe we have something great here. And I believe we can go forward and never look back. I believe we've learned the lessons we needed to learn to become profitable in Forex and to be able to use the system that we employed in a more efficient manner to make sure, yes, every single day you make money. And going forward, I can give you that promise. I can give you that promise. I know sure as hell. Everyone that lost a penny, if they had money in their account within a month, they're back to even going forward. They're going to make more money in a day than on the residuals, and they're going to be all happy. But what's sad is the people that are going to stop now. And I swear to you, it's not because of that one sixty nine ninety nine. It's because they really don't know what I had for them, because I have no idea what they wanted from me. So, these are the steps I'm going to take. For those of you guys that are going to stay, we're going to take this to the top. I'll tell you right now, a guy like me, I may not be the best in MLM. I may be new. I may be young. 
but I've got drive and I've got ambition. And there's no way I'm leaving this planet without putting my name on every single continent and country there is. So I will take this company to a billion dollars. God knows that. Those people that stay, we need to very quickly and rapidly change everything with respect to leadership. And the only way to do that is X amount of elders being identified and flying down here for leadership and then going back to the United Kingdom and opening an office and me joining them for two months in the UK, creating proper connection channels to the field. A lot has to change because where we're failing is oh, our, our, our communication and our connection with one another. People fault the auto trader. It's not the auto trader's fault. The auto trader just ran because it was told to run that way and it was okay. Do you understand? And again, we don't fault, I don't fault anyone or mention anyone's name as fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. It is my fault. I was too excited. I was too uh cocky i was too confident and i just saw too many people joining the company i said i'm sure these guys are handling people well this was my fault i should have poked my nose i should have gotten a secret phone added myself to every single whatsapp chat group with everyone secretly read everything i should have poked my nose into things and i didn't do that and i apologize for that but you live and learn. I'm still learning in life. I've got great companies. I've got a great track record in business, but I'm still learning. Now, the only way, like I said, for us to fix this is, first of all, identifying anyone who's lost money in the last two months or whatever. We've got to give them free, a free account right now. We can't charge them because even though it wasn't their fault, and it wasn't our fault, it's customer service 101. It's reestablishing that trust. Because a lot of people right now can't even take advantage of the new auto trading system I'm doing, which is killing it. Making It's every few hours making a winning trade, let alone every day. But those individuals need to have the opportunity to understand what happened, refund their account, and say, look, we're going to work the next one month to bring this account back to break even. Once we're on break even, now we're back to where we comfortably were. Let's make some money. But it would be a damn shame if they didn't get that opportunity and went elsewhere and were finessed into putting 3000 bucks into someone else's auto trader and losing it all forever and then quitting Forex. Because I'm telling you, the grass is not greener on the other side, guys. Sometimes watering your own grass is the best thing to do. The grass is really not greener on the other side. Trust me. There's nothing out there other than, other than certain failure. We've got the best thing in the world here. We just have kinks that we need to fix. And it starts with leadership. It starts with, with corporate. It starts with us being more intuitive with what you guys want. Doesn't mean every single day someone has to WhatsApp me because that's very difficult, but it starts with us communicating better with you guys and conveying messages and not relying on any, you know, quote unquote leaders because leaders jobs, if a leader is young, they're not going to do it properly. End of story. So for those of you guys who are upset, I apologize. I sincerely apologize. I can't go back and change what happened. I really can't. And I'm sorry I let you down. And I'm sorry you were told that, you know, just close your eyes, put money in here, open the biggest lot sizes and become a billionaire. And I'm sorry that I wasn't told that you were told that. Because if I, was, if I knew you were told that, then I would have just traded the way I'm trading today. And you would have made a lot of money today. But we can't change what's happened in the past. What I can do is 
make sure that we're good going forward. And I've taken those steps. I've come through on my new auto trader system. No one is able to, no one can do what we do. Just to let you guys know, I am a paid member to every single MLM in the world in Forex. I am a paying member. And their auto traders are running on my systems. And their signals. And they're the worst things I have seen in my life. And I don't expose them. I just, I'm a paid member. Okay? So the grass is not greener for you. But I'll tell you right now, when some of these leaders and other companies smell blood from Kaizen, they come for it. And they come for it like sharks. Don't be dissuaded because you will quit Forex. You will go and lose everything you have. And you will quit Forex because they will not care about you the way I care about you. I'm telling you. If you want to make that decision, Godspeed. But I'm telling you, you'll regret it. We need to stay here, work with exactly what we have, understand that our current leaders that I, I was banking on are young individuals, young fathers. They're, they're, you know, we're all also Middle Eastern. We have our vows to our families. They need to spend time with their families. Sometimes they got to turn their phones off because you, also, you guys also know, 99% of us are, 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 are East Asians, you know? You can give us a billion dollars half the time. We won't say thank you. You take a dollar from us, we'll cut your head off. You know, you know how we are. We're very, very aggressive people. And some of these guys have been aggressively approached and they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it. So they've turned their phones off. They leave WhatsApp groups, but it's okay. Let's fix that. Let's not focus on leaders in the, running UK. Let's focus on corporate running UK. Let's put an office in the United Kingdom. Let's fly 10 people down to Toronto and have them stay with me for two weeks so I can teach them my leadership and I can give them company values. Let's open an office there. Let Reza come there. We have a phenomenal product, guys. We had a, we had a bump in the road because of miscommunication. People are upset. But let me tell you something. We can make every penny back for them plus, 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 plus. Nothing is a loss, especially if you look at what we are doing now in the auto trader. Do you understand? So we could water our own grass, say we got the best thing here. We got a phenomenal group of individuals. We're all from the same part of the world. We're all from the same culture. We understand our core values together. We can work together, build global wealth, build residual incomes, and build an amazing system because we do that through communication or we disperse. And I think it's sad if we disperse because like I said, when one person goes, another person comes. So it's not about the money for me. It's about, I don't want, I, I don't want you guys to, 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 to have that bad taste in your mouth when I know how happy you guys can be. And I want you to be happy. So like I said, what I'm prepared to do is basically create an email address, have every single individual that lost money in the Euro, CAD, and pound USD will email that email address. Just show us the account. We'll make sure that, you know, you don't have to pay an auto ship. All right. And make everyone's money back, have a better field communication, establish these fine little things that will keep corporate more powerful with the field and never look back. Because I'm telling you right now, after I found out what you guys want, it's very simple what you want. If you want 40, 50 pips a day and you don't want any drawdowns and you just want greasy scalps, trust me, no one can scalp better than I can. No one can replicate what I do. If you've been connect if you've taken my trades the last week, you see what I'm doing. It's literally I enter the trade and it goes into a profit instantaneously. You know? If that's what you're telling me, that's what the UK wants, that's a walk in the park for me. And we can do that for the next 20 years. But we, we need to reestablish that trust and foundation we had with everybody. And again, it starts with everything I'm saying now. We do it as a team. We do it together. 
We accept the fact that corporate messed up, some of the leaders messed up, but we got a great system here and we got a great product here. You know, don't let others come and take the opportunities that were put in front of you first. Because I'm telling you, the grass is not greener on the other side. There's 5,000 people in my Telegram group for a reason, because they need my trades. And those 5,000 people are the CEOs and top leaders of other MLMs. Trust me, there's nothing there for you. Stay with your brothers. Stay with people that at least if we yell at each other, we can come to an understanding and fix it and make money together. But let's do it together. All right. Now, I know some of you guys want to speak. I only ask that if I unmute you, please be respectful. We have fathers and mothers and sisters and brothers on this call. So please, all I ask for is if I unmute you, please be respectful. Let's have a proper discussion. All right. So how did this room get to 250 people? One second. I know one guy wants to speak. Well, that's every single one of you wants to speak. Now, hold on a second. I'm trying to find. Um, how to let. Uh, okay, let me actually let AJ. A AJ, I, I, uh, I unmuted you. Perhaps you could. Uh, you could, because everyone's got their, their, their hands up, bro. I don't know. Uh, it, it would take, it would take days for me to, uh, our Sam, I see you too, brother. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to you. Um, AJ, perhaps if you could chime in. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I think uh, a lot of the teams wanted to speak, um, while what's going on. Um, me personally, obviously we've uh, conveyed our messages, but I just think is. What, what they've been missing is direct communication with you. So there's some people that wanted to say some stuff, but obviously there's a lot of people on the call. So I know tensions are high and some people are upset, but just keep it respectful. And Reza will speak to you now. So um, if there's one brother, um, Robani, that wanted to say, say some stuff. I can't and find them. I'm trying to find him. I can't find him. That's the problem. I was trying to find Robani. I can't find him. That's the issue. Let me just check if he's... Yeah, he's there. He's um, he's not too far from the top. He just says Robani with the... Oh, why is he over there? I thought he'd be in the R section. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just mute yourself, bro. Let me unmute uh, Robani. Yeah, hi. Hi, Robani. You're unmuted, bro. Yeah, hi, Reza. You are right? I'm good. Hi. How are you? Yeah, no bad, no bad. Reza, right, you know listen to what you're saying and um, just just to speak slightly on behalf of the the leaders you know the quote-unquote leaders you know first of all you've got to admit that uk kaizen uk is where it is because of these young quote-unquote uk leaders 100 percent, without a doubt so you know blaming them for um taking the you know mis misrepresenting maybe's in, in slightly or you know things like that because you know if, even if we go on to about um the get rich quick scheme you know um you know i was on the call with you in november when we were even talking about this when this before the strategy turned into hedging strategies we were in the get rich quick scheme do, do, do you know what i mean then suddenly something changed along the way where it became hedging strategies when trade started going into drawdown do you know what i mean yeah um now well, I, I don't think there was any strategy employed i think i think when we initially started with the auto trader i don't think it was as big of a flagship product as it was now. Um, I don't think our whole company really understood how powerful the auto trader is and how, how uh, productive and unproductive it can be. So there was never really initially any thought put into yeah, let's, yeah. let's have this solid strategy. You know, like for example, now we know, hey, listen, drawdowns, no, no, right? Hit a drawdown, 30 pips, cross hedge it, make money on. We did that with the cat Jappy yesterday, right? So there was no, you know, there was no real strategy at that time employed because we didn't really know exactly what it is that people are signing up for. Do they come for yeah. the Yeah, you said that. 
Reza, you said that, you know, you know, when we were on the call in November, I actually remember even where I was standing. You said that, that, oh, my God, I didn't think the auto trader was going to be this famous. But then we did establish that the auto trader was famous. The whole point it got famous is we were turning 5K accounts into 10K accounts in two weeks. We were doing that. Now, the issue comes is, you know, when the strategy suddenly, you know, we go into major drawdown. The issue comes. It's yeah. not not just that, Reza. The issue comes really, I'll, I'll give you the first issue is, obviously was when major drawdown happened, right? We, we Then we said, okay, fine, what happens is everybody's got their leverage wrong. We were doing hedging strategies. My point is, okay, we overlooked that. Then what were we doing before that? Then comes along Euro card, which literally wipes people out. Then we get right. told oh, our leverage is too low. Can you see what I mean? You know, the, one of the major issues, and I've learned this from you, Reza, and I do that education very, very well. In fact, I've gone that much. I put my day and night into this. I teach people, you know, the, the guys who are losing money, I'm teaching them now. Now, the, the, when Eurocad comes along, okay, that literally just wipes people out. You know, Reza, I learned from you, yeah? Where, where's the stop loss? It's a simple thing. Because don't forget, when we were doing, before we were doing hedging strategies, the UK leaders that you just said they were promoting something else, it was approved by you, the 400 pip thing, every single month. All we need to do, catch, is 400 pips and your account is going to be this. But we're catching 2,000 pips, which we were doing. Can you we see were, what we were, we were We were doing it. We were doing it. And, and I will definitely say that the strategy did get changed. I think, I think it, it was an immature approach, to be quite honest, to our to our my effects book i think it came down to a classical trading is trading error which which as much as i've taught this to other people i'm every even the best trader is a culprit of it and it was trying to maintain that 100 percent win ratio that, when in, that was, that was in reality yes. when in reality what we should have done is just said look we are going to out of 25 trades take one losing trade and then make another 25 winning trade and then one losing trade. And then, do you understand? And yeah, totally. And, and, I mean, and none, of that, none of that would have happened. And none of that would have happened. So, so 100%, 100%, we should. And again, it was, it, right. it, it, there was a lack of pressure on corporate because of a lack of communication with the field. No, you that's know, fine. That's fine. So, but you're right. You're 100% right. We should. Because even now, even now, right, you right. know, I mean, right. once we, we can make 25, 35 winning trades, as everyone makes money. If we make one losing trade, it's not a big deal. Reza, uh, it's not. That's what I'm saying. One losing trade is not a big deal. But when you've got one losing trade open three times, goes into 350 pips in minus in one day. I'm talking about GBP USD, 367 pips. That's just one trade. You've got a blown account. Don't forget, before GBP USD, we were, promo uh, we were promoting the market maker strategy, which were quick in, quick out. So the people that joined any time before that Monday, when when the, when Theresa May made that announcement, they were bound for failure. All we needed was someone to just say, right, enough is enough, out, I'm out of this trade. This is what we didn't get, Reza. And now you, we've come to a stage where everybody, it's not even complaining. One leader, you know what he said to me? Oh, it's good when Reza's making money, but it's bad when he's lost it. Damn right it is bad when he's lost it because we're paying for it. We don't pay to lose money, but look at Reza, we can accept losses. But you know, this is just one issue, Reza. You know, every single time a mistake happens, we come up with a new solution. Every single time a mistake happens, we come up with a new solution. You know, you're a professional. You you are by hands down one of the world's best traders. I've followed you for a long time. Okay, now, how do you let one trade when you know what risk management we're on? Because don't forget, the whole first risk management that was going around was for every thousand you hold, you put a, a, um, a 0 0.10. So you need a thousand pips to blow your account. Yeah? Yeah. So you knew, I mean, you knew accounts were going to be going. Fine, you've done that side, but stop loss. Not only that, you've put that, um, the European ambassador on the call. He, when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I spoke out about it, he came on a call. I asked him one simple thing, okay, which was, okay, GBP USD has done this. Uh, what's his name? Fawad? GBP USD right. has done this. Can you please ask Reza, because it's gone off the auto trade now, but their trades are running. I've got people with 50K accounts with 46,000 pounds in minus. They're watching their money just dwindle away. Can you get me an answer? Not in 28 days, within the next couple of hours. 
Can you get me an answer? What shall they do with these trades? That guy, he didn't even know what a pip was. He didn't come back to me. It's been a week on. So these are the issues, Reza. I mean, they're like they're not like small issues that like a free membership can just solve. We really, we 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 put everything in your hand. Does that make sense? Literally, set it and forget it. You you approved all that. We put everything in your hands, and we've watched people's money just literally just blow. All because to maintain either a hundred percent trade record. If it was a hundred percent trade record. Think about the mentality behind it. That's no care or uh, regard for anyone's money. You know, one lady, you know what got me really fired up? Reza, one lady, okay, she lost oh. just 500 pounds, which is about 20 times less than what I lost, okay? She lost just 500 pounds. She was a single mother. Do you know that 500 quid was 20 grand for her? And this is really, it broke my heart when I seen, when I seen the lady's face. I couldn't, there was no way we could keep quiet after that. Um, not only that, the strategy as well, we're, we're, we're catching three to four trades a day. If we, if, even if we just talk about today, we're catching three to four trades a day, yeah? Yeah. Minimum, we're, we're destroying the markets. You apply the old risk management, the one that was changed after ODUSD. We're making pennies and chips if we put that risk management to it. Can you see what I'm saying? So something really drastically, either it goes back from square one, right? This is what we're going to do. And no, no, we haven't changed the risk management allowance for people. I even told on the presidential call, I said, go ahead uh -huh. and increase your risk. I'm managing it in, a, in, in the old traditional way, and you will make all of your money back and yeah, more. There's a, there's a big issue but, with that. There's a one big issue. If you've got Eurocard still running on some of these accounts, you've got GBP USD running on some of these accounts. When people, newcomers join, straight away, instantly, these old trades go on their account. So they have to go in with the old risk management and with the market maker strategy, they're going to be making pennies and chips. And we can't say people, you know yourself, all these novices that are joining into Kaizen, they're not joining in for, for, for learning Forex. All they understand, they don't understand market maker, broker, um, risk management. All they understand is that they're going to put some money in something called the auto trader. It's going to automatically trade and it's going to become money. Correct. Mate, it's mate. Correct. I'm telling you, it's not been happening, you know. Um, that's that's just one issue that that guy, um, the European ambassador, um, mate, yeah, he's got no idea. He doesn't even know what a pip is. I mean, he couldn't even answer me anything. Fine, that's fine. The one of the other main issues is, you know, lately, um, Reza, you know what's been happening? You know, our our trades, okay, you know, the ones that have been um, in major drawdown and things like that. Yeah. The Vantage broker. Now, the Vantage broker, there's something that does not add up with him. The main thing is, okay. Um, is he spreads, you know, when market changeover happens, I can understand uh, floating spreads, they go high, but it's at unusual times, these spreads, I catch 100 pips, I mean, I catch pips hands. Okay, tell me what time, tell me what time, and I'll give you an explanation, tell me what time the spreads go wide. Um, well, I'll have to, I've got, well, two seconds, hold the line, let me just because get a roll during over. rollover, during rollover, so let me explain something to you, so that, that aspect of it, there's, there's not even brokers know as much as I do about that, okay? Not right. even liquidity providers do. That's my world and I'm deeply involved in it, all right? Yep. When you are on true STP, all right? Real STP, and the markets do a rollover for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yep. Spreads, spreads can go 10 to 12 pips higher. But this is not and, and that's time. on minor pairs. On the majors, about three to four pips higher. Now, if you, if, and that it, it's virtually impossible for majors to go three to four pips wider and minors to go about 11 pips wider. All right. If That's they go fine. wider than that, then yes, that is a major concern. Yeah, that, that's fine. I understand that, Reza. I understand when the rollover takes place, the London session, Tokyo's, I understand the spread's going high. At that point, there's times, okay, we've caught 100 pips, okay? Um, at odd times, the spreads have suddenly gone high, okay? So you know what I've done? I phoned uh, Vantage. Right. I, I, I contacted them, and um, I, I asked about, um, sorry, the, the trades aren't closing in profit, especially you, right. Rez. And you know what they told us? That um, because of something going on, their, their commission, they've raised the commission. And this is a stock. Oh, I mean, from 1%, yes. get on yes. this, from 1% yes. to 3%. Yes. yes, yes. You know why? You want to know why? That is true. They did do that. And, and, and 
again, oh, this is something that it's, you know why they did that? It's not only them. So because of the French elections, okay, what they're doing is wrong and right at the same time. And I'm going to give you an unbiased idea. So because of the French elections, all right, markets. So for example, I'll tell you right now, if Le Pen wins, which is a very good possibility Le Pen's going to win, that same EuroCAD, if people still are holding it, might end up making them tens of thousands of dollars because the euro will drop not, I can't even say by how many pips. I would yeah. say minimum 50% loss in a day. Now, what happens is these brokers, guys, all right, these brokers have an A book and a B book. All right. Now, yeah. there's no differentiation. They cannot differentiate price action on an A book or B book. The price action is the same. So when they've got 90% of the entire company on a B book, they're taking that risk. So when there's uncertainty that, hey, if 90% of my B book, which could be $100 million, $200 million to big brokers, wins against me, guess what happens? Well, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but when the Swiss, ba Swiss bank took out the floor a few years ago, the biggest broker in the world, FXCM, was going into bankruptcy. Some of the biggest brokers on earth went bankrupt. Funny thing is my broker, as much as it has a bad reputation, was liquid still, you know, because you don't know the position. So what they do is before a major news comes out, they create a scenario where people really do not want to open up trades in specific pairs. They don't want you in the euro because they want to keep you away from the euro. Do you understand what I mean? So they're Reza. not manipulating anything. Reza. This, I can assure you, is a one-time thing they're doing, and all brokers will do that. Re Reza, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with IC markets as well. Um, their spreads haven't gone up that much. Uh, sorry, not spread. Their commissions haven't gone up that much. Um, I also spoke to them. You know, I, I contacted them, and I wanted to see what deal you've got with them as well, you know, with that Islamic link, because I know it's an affiliate link, okay? So I contacted them, okay, um, and I said, oh, can you give me one of those Islamic links uh, because I'm building a team also. Do you know what they told me? They what goes, they no, say? because we, we can't pay you that because we pay towards Kaizen marketing costs. Now, one of the things that struck me straight away, we are the marketers, so how is he paying for my Kaizen marketing costs? Um, I also said, um, he, what, what, on, the, on the second message, he, all, he offered me half of the money, and I asked him clearly, um, do I get, you know, the, the, the continuous commission that they give you for when you, um, for opening trades? I asked him clearly that, do I get paid um, for losing money? And um, he said, for, if they open more lot sizes, for every standard lot size is opened, uh, I get a kickback for that. Um, okay, I can assure you that's not the case with me. Okay. And I'll, and I'll, tell, you, and I'll tell you how you know that. Because uh -huh. I don't care if you use Vantage FX or not. You we don't. spent a lot of money to make sure they have true Islamic accounts, okay? There is no, if you really think, okay, that I make a penny off of extra lot sizes, bro, that's one thing you're so wrong. I, I otherwise, be wrong. I'd, I be wrong. Wrong. I'd be out there. First thing I'd be telling everyone, hey guys, open up large lot sizes. I have never done that. Maybe once or twice, I even sent out emails to people to say, this is the Islamic accounts, set up with them if you want. I don't solicit it. I, and there's a public link. How can they, unless they're the stupidest broker in the world, that they're going to create a public link? It's not public, Reza. They clearly know that we're Kaizen members. It's not public. They, they Islamic, know we're Kaizen members. Islamic sign up. No, 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 no. If you go to vantageeffects.com, that's a public link. That is not an affiliate link. That is, but the one that we're using isn't. Hey, get out. That, that one isn't. Now, the other thing is not. See? We're going don't use this. Don't, just don't, too don't, don't use it. Don't use it. Use use the other link if that's what you think. I can assure you. Reza, that, Reza, we're, that we're not 100 wrong, bro. Reza, think can. about it. We're not at the stage where we can't use it. We've already used it. We've been this broker that we've been um that that, that we're yeah. using the vantage, which is bro, bro, bro. Yeah. that that part of it is a speculation that is not true. I don't do that. I have no need. How okay, much? That's fine. I'm not saying. I'm saying. Like, have you like, got any sort of deal with them? But bro, bro, do you think? Do you think that I'm going to come for 
them giving me an extra ten thousand bucks a month, and that's I'm a lot going more than ten thousand bucks, Reza. Do the math. If, okay, if that's fine. That's fine. Tip, but how many? How what lot size? I was a broker. The deal they would give is probably um, I don't know per per pip or whatever. What lot size is? Do you think people are opening up? Do you really think there's a massive amount of money in there? There isn't. So how much do you really think? How many people do you really think are on the UK team right now? Really? If every single one of them opened up five lots a day, do the calculations. Do you think I'm going to come and risk my license? Do you know by, Reza, by, Reza. By, hold on, by being an introducing broker, you need a specific uh, license for that as well? Trust me, it's not worth it for me to do that. So that's not true. It's not true. Okay, now I'm just saying, I'm asking you, what deal have you got with them? Is it is it that? But because even with lot sizes, it's a huge kickback. It's more than $10,000. But look at it, Reza, you know what we're getting? The problem is, you know, everything that I've just spoke about here, look at none of it is just, it's, you know, in terms of going forward, none of it is just, it just doesn't add up. We make mistakes, then we change the strategy. We change the strategy, it doesn't work. When something happens, we blame someone else. You know, when you were talking about blaming Harsh like that, mate, I'll be honest with you, Harsh had a stop loss on that day, that Tuesday when GBP USD shot up. He did the right thing. We're, we're referring people, putting money into this auto trader, and it seems like it's just getting blown every single time. I mean, this, this, this. That's not true. We had one time we blew account, and it was on a Eurocad. It was one time. No nah, man, we've never, we've, we've never done it before. I look at all the leaders. Look at all the leaders. Every single one of the leaders. Okay, and you leaders. know what? Then you know what? I will have to say everyone over leverage your account because if you're telling me a guy with sixty thousand pounds blew his account, my master account is only thirty two thousand dollars. I'm down nine percent right now, holding the same trades. I can yeah. screenshot and show you. So yeah. hold on a second. So I'm I'm not saying they're wrong, but. Yes, they have severely over leveraged your account. I understand a 200 pound account has to open a minimum size. If they blew their account, blame it on me. But you're telling me a guy had 50K? 50K, yeah. He opened up way too large of a lot size. Reza, I said he's sitting in about uh, 42K in minus as we speak right now. Um, okay, what's the lot size? Tell me the lot size. Well, I don't know the lot size right now of, of here. He's not with me, but. Even I'm talking to according to risk management. This fella is not a trader. He's a businessman. He's not got time for right. this. Well, what's if the lot size? If he's sitting down at a 42k loss, he's opened up 10 times bigger lot size than he should. He have. hasn't. He hasn't. It was all set up by the auto trader. What? Up, look at Reza. We can. We, we, there's no point getting into a debate over this. We can. We can debate all all, all the way um, for a long, long time. It's just every single. You know, even the strategy that you keep changing is not working. Um, every every single time you no, come I, up with. I, 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 I don't think that's don't, true at all. There's only one blame that you've taken. All right, I should have come and opened an office up in London and whatnot, and and a hands down, you know, I should spend more time. That's 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 besides the point. It's the actual product, Reza. People are joining for the auto trader, and you're just blowing it. I don't. I don't think that's true at all. I think that's. Uh, I think that anybody, is anybody. Anybody. That's a true statement. No, Reza. But think. You now, anybody on this call, okay? slightly knowledgeable that understands risk management according to what you have given us uh, we've got three uh, three blown accounts of three major trades yeah, all I, because I, all because um reza is that you won't accept a defeat uh, on your trade um for that reason mate uh, I can't, there's no way i can i can i can carry on but you ha i had to put these two here and um, one of the things is what is well what strategy are you actually using because we're still confused what do you mean? What strategy? What strategy are you using? Are we using quick trades, inter trades, or we're we doing um, swing trades? Because based on, they all based on based on what this company brings in, the kind of individuals they bring in, the only strategy that can be used is quick in and out trades. Because I can't. Because even if even if the world's greatest situation happened and every single person said, I'm going to, you know, from now on use proper risk management and we're going to try this again, they're still going to not use proper risk management. I know that because the moment they see me making six, seven winning trades in a row, they're going to say, you know what? He fixed his system. I'm going to quadruple my trade sizes and they're going to do it again. So for that reason, I'm not even, I, I can't even take that risk, even, even if it's their fault. And I won't take that risk. So the only way I'm going to trade is is exactly what I've done the last five days, which is very quick in and out of the market, 20 pips per trade, 12 to 20 pips, make a quick buck for them, make everybody money. And so in the event they opened up five lots, they can make their 550 bucks on that one trade because it looks like a lot of people want to do that. And I can do that. 
They do raise but, up, but I'm afraid but, it's a little too late. But, sorry, say that again? I'm saying they do, but I'm afraid for a lot of people, you know, like you were saying, um, they just don't have the money to come back and do it, including all the leaders, and they are far from air uh, to blame for any of this. Um, I think, really, you knew the strategy because I've been on the calls with you um, from the beginning, what we were doing. It's when you started making the mistakes. I don't know if you were busy. Uh, I don't know if you were busy, but when you started making the mistakes and pulling out excuses is is when things started going really I, 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 I think I think uh, I don't think it's excuses, man. I think it's the reality. You know, I think it's the reality. It can't reality. be. Rather, rather, um, come on, man. I, I, think, I, I think it's the reality. And, uh, that we're going to lose money. No, it's it's not. It's that you guys, a lot of people also went and opened up their their massive lot sizes, and that's it. You know what I mean? So I think uh, I think you are, um, I, you know, I I think the conversation here is uh is is a bit different than you're not you're not trying to uh you're not trying to work on on fixing anything. You're just trying to kind of uh put a blame on me. And if that's the case, no, if that's the case, don't take blame. That's the thing. If that's, that's the case, so if that's the case, I respect that, my brother. If that's the case. I respect that, and I respect you. That lady right. who lost five hundred pounds deserves answers, and I've given no. them. And I've given no, them. I mean, and, 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 people, and, and and there's a lot of people that that could be accountable, including myself. And the first thing I said on this call is, I take faults for not interjecting, but I know what I have. I didn't get to where I am, bro. My brother, with all due respect, by uh, by by you know by being a little bit I'm a, I'm 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 a, I'm a fool a little bit but I'm not stupid bro You can't you can't do that. Well, you know I've, I'm been, a, I've been around this block a long time my brother. I've lived a long time. I've lived many lives, you know. No, I totally so, agree with you. So, you're not so stupid. I, you're not a stupid so, guy. Look so, what you've so said. Believe me. So believe me. So believe me. Believe me. You know, uh I I, I I know what I'm doing. You know, was there a mistake in the system? I should have reached out to people a lot earlier. Do I blame my leaders? Absolutely not. Am I confident in my leaders that if some people leave? You're not. 100%. I, I am confident. You know why? Because I know what's out there. I know what humanity has access to. No. When I, say, really. when I say you're wrong, when I say I've lived many lives, I've lived many lives. I know what humanity I know what humanity has access to. I know where I know what people's li- people have access to. And I'll yeah, tell you right now. I'll tell you right now, okay? The grass is not greener on the other side. So, and, and, and. You're right. And, You're and, right. The and, grass isn't and, green and, on this side either, Reza. And, you, you, well, just... well, then, my brother, my brother, yeah. I implore you. I implore you to buy the seeds, to, water, to, to, to flourish and water your own grass and build your own empire. And when you do, my brother, I'll be the first person, first person to shake your hand. Because I'll tell you right now, one day, Managing what I manage, and 99% of people would crumble to the floor. That's not me, Reza. Reza, I'll tell okay. you another thing, yeah? So, 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 so I got to let other fine. people speak, bro. Roban, yeah, I got to let other people speak. Okay. okay. Um, you're more than welcome to message me privately, and we can have a discussion. All right? Otherwise, no, you know, it, 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 is, it is what it is, bro. I've put everything I need to put to you, but okay. you know, that's, that's okay, it. Okay, my brother. Thank you. Thank you I'll be honest. Can I just can I just finish off just one second? You know, to me it's. I think he muted himself. I, I didn't mute him. I didn't mute him. Maybe it was God. I didn't mute him. Okay. okay. Can, can I have something, Rosa? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen. First, can I say something? Robani has all the right to say everything he does, mm-hmm. and I give the man. 100% respect for voicing his opinion. Further to that, I will agree to 99% of what he said. But I'm also a man of pride, and I will disagree to that 1% to say you keep changing the system. I think that is false. I think that, you know, let me ask the question. Did Traffic Monsoon change your system? Did S-Coin change your system? Did OneCoin change your system? ACN change your system. Why all these companies always have a fault? Why never, ever leaders come and say, look, maybe we did something wrong. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. But I'll tell, I will say one thing. As much as I respect Brother Robani and, and he made some very valid points, all right, I beg to differ on a lot of them because I know what I'm capable of and I know there isn't a single human being that can do what I can do. Some people lost money. It was a, it was a bad reaction of what happened. But I know what I'm capable of. 
I know what I'm doing now. And I know for those that stay, they're going to make a ton of money with me. And it is what it is. And not everyone's going to stay. Some are going to leave. It's life. But I'll tell you right now, I will promise you, promise you. Let me know, please, when you find another opportunity remotely close to Kaizen. And being such an infant company. Don't compare a 34-year-old immigrant who's building something to the, to the directorship of ACN, who's been around for 22 years. ACN got there because they have 22 years experience. We've got, half, we got less than a year. And I'll get my company 10 times bigger than ACN. I know what I have. I'm very confident in it. And I fear only the man above. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm very well aware of this. And, uh, and, and, and uh, Fawad, maybe you can go ahead and air, your, uh, air, air what you have to say. I'll put myself on mute for a second, brother. Um, you know, firstly, uh, we heard uh, Brother Obani, and uh, it's funny, uh, you know, the few things he said about me, but this guy, no, nothing knows about Pip, and uh, whatever he said, of course, that's his opinion. Uh, he did mention, for those of you who are on the call, he did mention uh, for me to raise this issue in front of Raza, and that's what we did in the CEO group. For all of you who are in the group with the CEO uh, group, we have, I'm sure Ads and uh, AJ won the group. And I, uh, Raza did answer this question when he asked you, was that in the group? And you did answer. And Raza, uh, sorry, AJ and Ads, uh, you know, they were on the group. So what I, because, you, you know, Rabani is directly working with AJ, I think, or Ads, one of them. So, you know, in my opinion, you know, I've told them to pass a message on. So that's why, Rabani, I didn't get back to you personally. One, I don't have your number. Second, I don't have your email. Third, I thought you will be informed. And uh, another thing, uh, just a message to Rabani, you know, whatever he said is spot on. You know, I agree with as much as I agree with him. Um, he is doing trading. That's why I was informed. And you did mention the same thing that someone from your team a blown account for 60,000. My brother, with, with the due respect, if you telling me that you are a trader and you know trading for seven years, how can someone from your team blew his account for 60,000, the 40,000 pound in debt? So as being a leader, that's a poor leadership from your side. Uh, I mean, you know, you come out and bombard towards me saying the European ambassador doesn't know about PIP. I accept that because I'm not from Forex background. I've joined Forex Kaizen four weeks ago, three weeks ago, roughly now. But you being a trader, as you said to me last time when we was on the, on the call, you said you know how trading works. So if you know how trading works, it's your job to teach your team the risk management. Raza's not going to come and teach the, the guy who's 60,000. He's got 60,000 pounds in Kaizen and tell them about the risk management. How about you? How about your trading skills then? If we have to train everyone. You understand? Because what happens is, don't forget, you make money from commission as well. So this is your job as well to train your team. Of course, and um, as we we know, Raza is said, uh, sorry, it's been, you know, this is a twice he came out on public and accept his mistake and his team's mistake. He apologized. Yeah, I, you know, like I can't, I can't, de I'm, I'm not going to sit here, bro, and demoralize myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I have pride. Eh? I'm Middle Eastern too. Same way you guys do. I've made people a ton of money. I'll burn to the ground before I embarrass, before I, before I break my own pride. I've made a lot of people money. This industry exists because of me. People are existing because of me. These other MLMs exist because of me. Who was, who, who thanked me when I was making doubling your accounts every month? Mm -hmm. According to that, you should have made so much money that you should have just taken this loss and we would mm -hmm. continue to double the accounts. Mm -hmm. So yes, I am sorry for what happened. And for me, I can, I can make it a billion times bigger if I want. Mm. But if you're going to sit here and say, screw you, Reza, I can, your grass, I, can go, I can go get grass on the other side. You can't. Sorry. Life isn't that easy. Trust me. It's not that easy. Mm. Otherwise, everybody would be doing it. Mm. We'd all be making millions of dollars a month. You know? So... Everyone has to take accountability. We screwed up. We mm. screwed up. Maybe we screwed up once or twice. Uh, Rosa, do you really want to make money? Do you really want to do this properly? Let's fix it. Let's make money together. You're the leaders in this company making close to 50000 a month. Guys, if you're making close to fifty grand a month, you got to lead as well. You got to help. It's your income. 
you know, like this, it's, it's, I get it. We, 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 we made a mistake. I get it. We should have had a stop loss on the Euro cat and pound. I get it. Yeah. But people 100% over leverage their accounts. If they didn't, they'd be fine. And you know what? They would have lived to fight today with me and I would have, and they would have made all their money back by the next two, three weeks. And going forward, they would have made money every day and said, ah, remember that time in Kaizen, guys, when we lost a couple of bucks? I mean, look at us now. But now they don't have that opportunity. And the most I can do for them is say, you know what? I'm going to give you free accounts. You don't have to pay this month. Let's build your account back up. But I'm not going to put a gun to my own head and I'm not going to victim. I'm not going to make myself like an idiot. I got the best thing in the world. I'm confident. I know what I have. Just got to fine tune the system a little bit. You know, you can't point fingers and, 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 and call someone names and say they're this and say they're that. Give me a break. I'm not going to be chastised. And Raza, you won't believe, you know, there's a groups we have on WhatsApp. People are swearing at you and swearing at me. And people are still swearing at me and telling me, oh, you, you know, you are backing up Raza. But they don't understand is they don't accept their mistake. And people are trying to threaten me. Saying, oh, why you? And, and even now, you know, while I'm talking to you, there are some people who are texting me or personally on WhatsApp who are trying to threaten me that, uh, why are you saying this? You know, I don't know whose number is this. They're saying, why are you saying, uh, why you disagree with uh, Rubani? I'm not disagreeing with Rubani. What I'm saying to you is, if you're telling me that you are. Yeah, tra- again, it's not disagreeing with anyone. Rubani has good points, but where's the constructiveness in it? Hmm. Are you- What's wrong with you guys? Okay, I'm 34 years old. Yeah, I make over a million a month. You know why? I adapt and overcome. I adapt and overcome. I make well over a million a month. I make over 100,000 a day, of which 10% of that is Kaizen. 90% of it is other companies. I adapt and I overcome. I'm a winner. I don't give up. I'm not afraid to lose. I'm not afraid to take risks. I'm not afraid to get hurt. I'm not afraid to bleed. I'm not afraid to cry. I'm not afraid to sweat. I get out there and I get shit done. Now you can either wake up and make this happen with me or don't. Let's be constructive about it. Really? I've, had a th- I've had hundreds. Of, wait a minute. I've had so many of my companies fall flat on their face that today they're some of the top earning companies in Canada. I own real estate development firms. I give out mortgages. I'm a lender. I do million different things. And they're all companies that initially started falling flat on their face. And now they're some of the most well-known names. You guys don't know that. Did I sit down and, 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 and said, okay, I said we made mistakes. We fixed it. We make it better. You're really trying to tell me that if this auto trader makes you money every single day, makes you three, four winning trades a day, you're not going to use it? You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Because even if you leave, you know as well as I do, you're going to go into my Telegram group and you're going to take those trades. You know it, I know it. So let's be constructive. You want to make money or you want to just sit there? Because I sure as hell know a lot of you guys have not made your multi-millions yet. And you've been in a ton of different companies. So what? We had a bad month. Let's adapt and overcome. Are we leaders or are we, are we losers? Losers give up. Losers fall. Losers fail. I don't believe in failing. I never have. I get back up. I dust myself off and I come back stronger. Brother Rabani, you say you keep making excuses. I say you're wrong. I say I keep getting stronger. I come back. I don't give up. Giving up is the easiest thing to do. Letting go is the easiest thing to do because it requires no will and no power. Fighting through things and standing up for what you believe in is what differentiates you from the other 99% of the world that choose to sit and be complacent. I am 34 years old and I'm younger than a lot of you guys, but I've been around this world many times and I've done a lot for myself. And every single time it's been because of who I am, not what I am. And I'll continue to triumph. And I'll continue to smile in the face of adversity and overcome every single obstacle put before me because that's who I am. I don't give up. I don't give in. I accept my mistakes. I accept my failures and I work on them and I make myself better. Every single time. And I'll fail again. 
but I'll get back up way stronger and I'll make things way better. If one thing I've learned is that my product is the greatest product in the world. If one thing I've learned is if I can bring 3,000 people in two weeks without really knowing what this product is, I can bring 300,000 people in two months by perfecting what I started. That's Reza Mokhtarian. That's why I will leave my legacy behind. That's why I have what I have. I don't sit here and dwell on negativity. I spilled my milk. I'm going to clean it up. I'm not going to sit there and say I'm out of milk. This is who I am. So if you 10 years from now, five years from now, are looking back at your life, and if you see that there have been failures, understand it was as a result of your ability to push through adversity. It was easier for you to let go than hold on and build on something you started. Every single billionaire on the face of this planet failed and failed hard when they started. And if the moment they started, they had stopped, they would not be who they are today. Not a single one of them triumphed immediately. The current president of the United States, which people hate, laughed all the way to the bank when he became the president, even though 50% of the country hated him and scrutinized him. And while he's sitting in office, he will position himself for the next 5 million years business-wise in that country. And he'll leave office in two or three years and laugh at the Americans in their face because they put him there. Because he believed in himself. Everyone out there that is successful billionaire failed and got back up, dusted themselves off, and came back with a better system. You look at me and you say, well, you had a bad month. I look at it and I say, alhamdulillah, I had a bad month. Because if I didn't have a bad month, it would not fine-tune my system to understand how to go out there now and get 300,000 people strong. And a few people got hurt. Let's fix your lives back up for them. Let's bring them back into the company without charging them. Let's bring motivation back to them. Let's show them that we've changed the system for the better permanently. And life goes on and everyone's happy. But chastising someone is hurting yourself. That's why I am who I am. And maybe we'll meet. Maybe we never will. Maybe we'll speak again. Maybe we never will. But I'll tell you one thing. Every single time you look me up, I'll be 10 steps higher than I was before. And anyone that has ever crossed my path and disliked me for the rest of their lives, they look me up. And every time they see I've gone further and further and further. And it's because I believe in myself. I believe in my products and I have trust in the man above that as long as I'm doing good, I'm not hurting nobody. Good things will come to me. I am 100% willing to help every single one of you guys come to where I have been in life. It's a beautiful place to be. It's a wonderful place to be. Every human being on this planet deserves to taste that goddamn freedom and not die a useless soul. But don't burn bridges when they're put in front of you because you had a bad week, you had a bad month, you lost a couple bucks. Let's all take that responsibility and say we all messed up and let's fix it. Or do what you got to do. But don't turn around five years from now and say I was unlucky. No, no, no. You were lucky. You chose not to take the path that was given to you. And I can preach this because I've done it. And I do it. And I do it every single day with every negativity thrown against me. I go higher and higher. And uh, just want to cut you off, Rosa, this one. All the top producing leaders, we had a meeting with them last week. Uh, we invited the top producing networkers in terms of Kaizen. They all were present in the room. Um, Ahmed couldn't make it, but the rest of them, they all were there. And they all accept. We know they said we were screwed up. You know, system screwed up. We accept our mistake. We're going to go back and we're going to come back stronger. And we all with you. 
you know, on behalf of the leadership, we had a meeting and I showed you the picture and a few of the leaders, they in direct contact with me, you know, and we all with you. I, I promise you 1000%. I don't care if anyone stays or not. Me will stay in London and I will be, the, I will build Kaizen in the UK. And I, I give you my promise on behalf of all the leadership. I know the names, Basid, Bilal, Ads, AJ, um, Asim, uh, Ahmad Jama, and few other leaders, and Sarjun, and you know Ashraf. There are a lot of other leaders. They are willing to build the network with the new strategy in place. I promise you, we will not. Why wouldn't move. they? We yeah. fixed. The, it's like you know, it's like coming saying, you know, Ferrari released a new car, and the, listen, Porsche, okay, Porsche, which is Porsche. Up to last year, their 918 flagship car was burning. It had faults. They had to recall them all and redo them. My own Lamborghini was taken away one week ago from me because they said there is two major recalls that make the car a fatal, dangerous vehicle to drive. And Lamborghini had to redo all those cars. And I get my car back. I don't know when. So... Don't you guys understand? This is called corporate development. It's called how things grow and get built. Do you really think our auto, sh- auto trader is going to be 100% at first? No, it's not. It's got to go through these things. It's got to go through these phases. It's got to make. It's got to lose. It's got to make and lose. But the point is you got the same guy on it, and he fixes it, and he makes it 10 times better. I think right now my auto trader is more efficient than it ever has been in ever. My trading has. When other companies, they don't even have that. They fire a new guy every day and put a new guy. What, what, the grass is greener? Go. Go lose your money a hundred times. You know, this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. It's, it's shitty. We had a shitty month. It sucks. It really sucks. I'm upset. You can hear it in my voice. But let's adapt and overcome. We got the best thing out there. I know I do. Okay, so what? A little bit young on the MLM side, a little bit young on the business side. We made some mistakes. We learned, we adapt and overcome. You get better with time. And I think the strides we have taken in such a short period of time, truly make us one of the best MLMs that has ever existed. No company has moved at a pace like we have. No one. Show me an MLM that has done what we have done. You turn around and tell me that you had one bad month of trading that you fixed already and that's a disaster? When there's cryptocurrency companies running Ponzi schemes that you guys put a billion dollars into? Really? You put a billion dollars in a year into a cryptocurrency that doesn't exist. And you have the right to tell me my one month, my my two weeks of bad trading that it has so easily been rectified. No, I turn around and say, I've got the greatest company in the world. We had a little bit of a stumble. I'm back 10 times stronger and that's never going to happen again. My hats off to those that are there. I apologize. Let's get the people that lost money. Let's get them back in for free. Let's take care of them. Let's nurture them. Let's build this platform much better than it was before. That's my solution. That's called productive, powerful solutions. That's my solution. And I'm telling you right now, No one's going to leave Kaizen other than a few people that just truly will jump from one company to another the moment they find resistance. And if that's the case, you were never a leader. True leaders don't what? Do they? people abandon their countries? You're going to abandon hundreds of people that you brought in because you face resistance? (laughs) If you knew, what would you do a day in my life? Kill yourself? I have tens of thousands of people on a daily basis that I have to lead. And I do that very well. Well, sometimes. So, you know, it starts with all of us taking accountability, guys. I'll assure you, Kaizen will be beyond healthy. I will assure you, 30 days from now, I'll have more people in Kaizen than I ever did. It's just the way life works. 
This is just how Reza Mokhtarian builds. I'm that confident. I know what I'm doing. You can stick around and we build together and, and, and accept everything that's been said today. Or like I said, it can be a, a, a blaming game and you face resistance and that's it. And you'll face resistance again in life. You'll face resistance over and over again in life. And if every time you're going to uh, face resistance and jump and, and Arsam, I see you, brother. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're going to uh, face resistance every single time and jump ship, and it's uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's not going to, uh, it, it, it's it's going to not be lucrative for you in the long run. Let me, uh, let me, un, let me let Arsam speak. He's been like since beginning, being patient. Hold on, one second, bro. Arsam, you're on, un, you're unmuted, bro. Hey, Reza, salam. salam. Good to you, everybody. Um, yeah, so I've been following you since um, Mentor Tips and even before on Instagram. And um, I've yeah, learned the Forex from you. And recently I've decided to join Kaizen through um, one of my friends from London. Um, and the way, the way Kaizen was sold to me was um, a bit different than what um, I experienced when I actually signed up. So um, when I, before I, before, when I took the decision to sign up, I, my friend showed me his um, trading profits in his account. And I, so I knew that, yeah, the auto trader is, is working. And um, that's when I decided to sign up. Um, the moment I, I signed up and I connected my auto trader to um, uh, my, uh, well, I, and I connected to the auto trader, um, which was around three weeks ago, it started making losses. And um, that was obviously, I mean, obviously you can take a few losses, yeah, but it was consistently making losses at, at that time. Um, I understand that I might it was have... It Euro, CAD, and Pound, USD. I mean, that's what really... Yeah, and it was also Euro, USD for me. Euro, USD, I never took. I never, ever took Euro, USD. Oh... Okay, yeah, harsh. The way, the way harsh. Okay, anyways, trade. anyways, okay. I, I didn't take it to someone mm -hmm. else. Okay, okay. And, Go those, on. and those trades also um, had extremely high stop losses. And for me, it just didn't make sense to hold those trades. Um, I, I just didn't see a, the reason why those those stop losses were so high. So anyway, what I'm what I'm saying was uh, what I'm saying is we signed up. And the auto trader just didn't do what it promised to do. It consistently made losses over that period of time, and um, it it would it probably would have blown my account if I had not intervened. Um, and yeah, so I think that's yeah that, that's that's a big issue, and we need to um, yeah we need to address address those issues. And I'm happy with what you said and what you've offered, and. Um, yeah i mean look it's 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 very unfortunate that at a time where we just had this massive momentum coming into the company and the company grew way too fast way too fast um all of this happened it just it was just luck of the draw just imagine if guys just imagine one thing what if news had come out and it was news that messed us up what if the news had come out the opposite way Everyone would be literally sitting down hailing me as a, as a magical, mythical figure. That's just the reality of it, right? If the news had gone the opposite way, everyone would have made hundreds of thousands of dollars. News messed us up. It was a very bad time in which we – it was just a bad time, yeah, all right? I, you I, know? I understand but, that. Yeah. And, but but the, thing, the thing is there were, the thing, there were like, all things wrong with, with – the strategy itself, right? Because you can't have trades without stop losses, or you can't have trades with 300, 200 pip um, drawdown and just decide to hold them and see what happens. I mean, that's that's just against everything you you taught us at the beginning on during the You're trade. right. You're right. And this is why I you said there's the there's, there's mistakes I made because there's mistakes I made. There's mistakes I made. I mm -hmm. I. I can't, I can always say, yes, people over leverage their account, but I made mistakes as well. This is why I'm saying, you know, the only way we can get over this is adapt and overcome. Because if you've been following me since those days, you know, everyone in Forex today is my student. I brought them into this company, into Forex. You know that. 
no one would, none of these guys would even be having other companies if it wasn't for me, you know? Yeah. But somewhere yeah. along the way, there was mistakes made, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and it's for a guy like me, we can make it back easily. You know, since that change of strategy the last five days, if you've been taking the trades, you see how powerful they are. No one can, you know, but again, everyone has to be able to take those trades. And a lot of people at this point uh, can't. Okay, then let me, let me say a um, few more things. Um, the, issue, the issue is now, obviously, when you buy a product and you're initially you're convinced, but then you see it isn't working, then how, how can you go out there and sign up new people in and because obviously you just been disappointed by the product and you can't sell those sell that product with a good conscience to other people you're right you're right you're right so you know what you know what you do okay so can i can i tell you can i tell you yeah so i'm going to completely step outside of kaizen right now okay so i'm going to give you like eight years of business experience and what i would do so i sit down and i do multi-million dollar deals all the time with big names Okay, I just took over a company that we control one of the major film festivals in the world. I'm involved heavily in business. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Okay, so I do business deals all the time. So you know what I would do? Okay, so this is what I would do. Um, I'm going to step outside of Kaizen, the Kaizen CEO, and I would say, so I'm, I'm building Kaizen right now. Um, I, had massive, I had massive momentum. I was building really well, and I fell flat on my face because a lot of people got disappointed. What I would do is be honest, first of all which is what I, I mean, I'm doing that now. I'd be honest to, to people when I'm signing them back up. I'd say, look, I'm a part of an opportunity that is phenomenal, um, but we did, we did have an issue. We did have a major issue um, where company grew a little bit too fast and we weren't prepared for it. Company wasn't prepared for it. And we made, you know, we made mistakes that cost people some money. However, our product wasn't flawed. Our, our system was flawed. Our product is a great product. And since then, we've gone ahead and fixed it. And you know what? Here is my last 30 days of trades. You know, in fact, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, which you probably don't. But Kaizen now has a 10-day free trial. We no longer, you can sign up for 10 days for absolutely free. Because since I changed, when I changed my auto trader system, I realized that now, you know, not everyone is going to just jump up right away and sign up. They're going to say, listen, we heard, we heard some stuff that the company lost some money. How do we know this? How do we know that everything is fixed? We're good because the average guy is going to say, look, I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to listen. There's nothing really better out there. What am I going to do? Go sell watches or sell a cryptocurrency again? So the average guy is going to turn around and say, listen, I'm open to listen, but I want to know how am I protected? And I would turn around and say, you know, these are the variables, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really solicit for another 20 days. I would, I would like to see 30 days of us maintaining what we've done in the last one week, you know, to say 100% we have, you know, we, now we were closed off with having the best system in the world because one week is still, I want to see more of what I've been doing the last week on a long-term scenario. And, and I implemented the 10 day free trial to give the opportunity to people to come and say, look, I, I want to see if this thing is fixed now. And for 10 days, they can use the auto trader. For 10 days, they can use our signals. You know what I mean? So I, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware we messed up. But we're going to implement a ton of features to bring that momentum back. And I'm telling you, guys, speaking from experience and business and life, the moment we start making we have 20, 20 days of nonstop winning trades. That momentum will quadruple. Trust me. It's just the way, it's just the way mindset, human mindset works. Mm. Because all people are going to do is they're going to slowly realize there's nothing else out there or they're going to try something and, and just see it sucks. And then they're going to constantly check on Kaizen. See, oh, they're still winning. They're still winning. They're still winning. And they're all going to come back. You know? Mm. But we don't want it to get to a point where people have to leave and come back we'd rather just say look we we messed up let's let's fix the situation for the current people you know let's give these guys that took their loss so let's give them a free account let's incorporate all these new momentum strategies and let's never let that happen again yeah, let's yeah. never allow that to happen again you know let's stick to a proper strategy let's use proper stop losses let's use you know a proper scalping strategy that does not have any drawdown i can do that i've done it have i not done it for you guys since i said i'm going to start it did we not do exactly what I said? If we get into a bad trade and it goes against us, we hedge it and make money on both ends. We've been doing it nonstop now. 
Not a single trade has been risky. In fact, we've made like we've made more trades daily now than we did ever. And they're much more accurate trades. Why? Because I changed the system. I made it more of a system to just get in and out. Just make everybody 40 pips a day, 50 pips a day, no stress. They don't need to hold the trades overnight. If they do, we hedge them, make money on both ends. You know, my goal was to create a system, guys, which I have, that you can truly pay monthly, build your organization and have a nice residual check. And at the same time, put X amount of dollars away in an account and just make money every day for that and use that money to pay your bills, pay for cars, pay for a lifestyle and enjoy that lifestyle. That was my goal. And I have that. And I'm 110% through these little trial and errors, that system will be perfected. And it's almost perfected now. And like I said, if, if I didn't take these little blunders, the system would not become better. You know, And we have that system. And I'm telling you, I will take over the entire MLM industry. Everyone knows Kaizen's got the best thing out there. But everyone also knows Kaizen has some corporate issues. And that's all we need to rectify. And I think we're doing a very good job right now at rectifying that and, and trying to fix the little issues that we had. Yeah. You know? That, that so, so, so you said you'll set up an email address where people can email. Anyone that blew their account, we're just going to, because you know what? If I, I'd rather them realize what we truly have and we make money together. We can make a ton of money together. No one is going to be able to replicate what I replicate. That's why the whole world is in my Telegram group. You know, I've had people hitting me up that are my competition saying, what are you doing? What is that that you have? Like, what is it? How is it act so accurately putting these trades out? You know? So we do have a system that I'm telling you can really, really change your life. It just sucks that to get it to that perfect situation, we had to take a couple blunders. But it's business, guys. Like the biggest companies in the world have taken blunders to get their product perfect. You know, the initial product needs, there's, there's beta testing done, there's Q&A done, there's what do you like, what do we like? You know, we recently added a VPS system. People were paying 25 bucks a month for their VPS system. We changed it to add costs like 10 bucks, 9.99 a month. There's so many things we're adding for you guys to make things easier. The new CRM, all this stuff, but we got to get there. And we understand that our flagship product had, had, had issues. Let's just fix it. Brother, let me and I think it is. Know. And I think it is. I think it's fixed, you know? So I just want to grow. I just want to, I just want to help the people that, that had a downfall, you know, bring, bring, you know, bring some sort of happiness back to these guys and, 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 and go forward. And that's it. You know? Yeah, that sounds good. Let me say one more thing. And I think that might be interesting for you as well. So after, um, after those losses on the auto trader um, or consistent losses, um, I canceled my Kaizen account probably a week ago. And I said, um, and I requested a refund because um, the auto trader hasn't been performing um, as, as it was promised. Um, so the reply from Kaizen I got is the following. Um, let me just find this. So it says, hi Arson, I've canceled your account as requested. Um, we unfortunately have a, a strict 10 day um, refund policy from sign up date and refunds will thus not be possible. That's all, that's okay because I was over that 10 day um, time uh, deadline. And then it goes on, um, you cannot judge any system or hedge fund after only two weeks of trading and expect miracles already. Also, you cannot blame the company for information given by your upline as we cannot control what they tell you and you should verify this information received. Have a nice day. Okay. Yeah, so... I don't see anything wrong with that. I think I think that was taken care of very well. I don't think that was... Uh, I don't think that's an issue in that. I think that was very well handled by the support team. I mean, what do you want them to say? No, you cannot have an account canceled and, <laughs> and say something rude to you? No, I think they handled that very well. So so the point is, guys, like, you know, we're at, at this point, we're just going to go in circles, right? So So very simple, okay? I'm letting you know right now, I'm here to build. 
I acknowledge the fact that we had issues. We're going to fi- we fixed it. We're not going to fix it. We fixed it. I know I sure as hell know. And everyone and their and their grandmothers using my telegram group to take my signals. I know that. I know that. And I know how accurate my uh, my system is now. So I'm going to I'm going to continue doing what I do, which is build my company and I sure as hell will hit 300,000 400,000 people in it. Because as long as you have it there, people will come. But what I'm saying to you guys is as a pioneers of the company, let's build. Let's work with what we have. Let's replenish what we lost if we lost money. Some of you did, not all of you did. And move forward. You know? I I implore you to open up a demo account and use anyone else's auto trader. You'll puke. You will throw up the first day. You will run so fast back to my auto trader. You will you will you'll beat Usain Bolt in a race. Okay? Trust me. I'm connected to all the auto traders out there. It's a it's a mockery what these guys are doing. You know? So we got a real company, solid company here. You know, I I, I can leave you off with saying, you know, this is what I'm prepared to do. You know, my sub, my corporate team is, is 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 standing ready to help everybody and 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 accommodate everybody and and build this you know build the momentum back up. We can easily do it, and um, and and we take it from there. You know, there's there's tens of thousands of people in the UK that love MLM. We definitely do have the best product in the world, bar none. We had some blunders, just like every company did at the beginning. I think we fixed them. I think we're ready to push forward and push forward 10 times harder than before. And I think we can easily do that. And I think that, you know, the people, you know, there's about, I would say three to 600 people that lost money. Let's give them free accounts this month. Let's, you know, help them make their money back in due time. If they actually are making, you know, 40, 50 pips every day, believe me, their happiness will come right back to them because they'll make all that money back and making that money back in the meantime, is going to give them the confidence to say, holy crap. I'm, now I'm going to stay forever with this company because now I, if I've made all this money back. I want to make money for the rest of my life. And we just push forward. That's the solution. That's what Reza would do. Like that is 100% what Reza would do. You know, I, I again, I don't believe in, uh, I, I, I don't believe in giving up. You know, I'm a, I'm a very persistent person. That's how I lost 70 pounds in the last five months. When every doctor and everyone told me you can't do it. I lost 70 pounds. You know, because I'm I'm a persistent person and I believe in what I do and I push forward. And I'll tell you right now, I'm I'm going to be the biggest MLM in the UK. Guaranteed. By the summertime, I will be the largest company in the UK. One million percent. You know, I know that. I'm going to be out in the UK myself. You know, you build it, they'll come. There's a lot of people hurting from other MLMs. The, the, the crash and tumble of one coin and S coin has caused a massive flurry and people are either going to go to Hilo or they're going to go to Kaizen. And I don't know if you want to sell watches that tell you how fast your heart's beating. And there's no other Forex MLM out there. Their products are all garbage. They're taking, they're taking trades from us, you know? So that's the reality of it. Um, please, please contact your personal groups on your WhatsApp group. If you're interested in what I've said, if you want to leave, if you left already, all I can say as a brother is my, my wishes, my best wishes are with you. I only pray the best for you. And as a man, if I've hurt you, I'm sorry. It was never my intention to do so. And if you're here to stay with me, I'll give you, I'll give you one word as, another, as a man as well. I will get you to the top. You know, so I'll leave it to you guys. To address your your leaders in a group, leaders, please, please respond to everybody. All right, because I'm going to have a personal call with all the leaders as well shortly, and we'll set up a channel where people can email in if they've lost their money, so we can get that information to corporate and make sure their account is free this month. Make sure their auto traders are all set up properly, and I'm going to put my head down and do what I do best, which is trade for you guys, come on the live sessions, and make sure that this company gets to the top. It will, 100%. I know there's a, there's a plan for this, and there's a plan for me. All right, guys? So, again, thank you for being on this call. I can't take uh, more more of uh, everyone's day. but on this call for quite a, quite a while now, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon, okay?
All right, thank you. Much, much love and blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.